All right, now that we've talked about the decent 2018 film, let's talk about this one. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Halloween Kills. This is the sequel to the 2018 film, which was kind of a reboot slash sequel on the entire Halloween series. This film follows immediately after the events of the first film, with Laurie being taken to hospital, all the while Michael Myers is inside her burning house, but then is rescued sort of by firefighters. But before I talk about that bit, I actually want to talk about probably my favorite bit in this movie is where they go back to the original film and they have this offshoot story with Officer Hawkins and how an event that happened during that night of Michael's first massacre, he actually made a big mistake and it's been haunting him ever since and kind of building more on the guilt of this character. Even though we'll come to see that the current day Hawkins is in this movie less than his past version, I swear. But what really got me was how they shot it. I will give major credit to how this sequence is put together because it looks like it's something from the 70s. You'll see in some films they'll try and go back into the past and they'll try and mimic camera techniques, camera technology, camera quality of that time period. And sometimes it gets close, sometimes it doesn't really get close at all. And I'm actually kind of curious at how they did it. It really comes across as an authentic 70s piece. But then after this, the movie turns to poo. After Michael Myers just walks nonchalantly out of a building that he should have definitely gotten smoke inhalation from, he then gets a water hose to the chest, which no. Any first responder, any special effects guy must have thought that this was absolute bullshit. No one can take a fire hose to the chest and just walk it off, let alone walk towards it. You as a kid must have seen one of those presentations where firefighters came to your school and they showed how powerful a water hose was. This is like common knowledge to almost everyone that this is bullshit. He then proceeds to take down this entire group of first responders like they're chumps. And it's at this point that you realize you're not going to be able to take this movie seriously. Seriously, not only in terms of how Michael kills people, but also that this entire town is full of fucking imbeciles. While Laurie's at the hospital, we kind of cut back to previous survivors from the night, and when the news that Michael Myers is in fact out and about killing people again, their fear turns to rage, and they become a mad directionalist mob, which actually I didn't mind that aspect until the end of the movie, but it really shows the idea of how fear can just blind people, and then when there is this other escaped mental patient that is introduced into the story, and how the mob thinks that he's Michael Myers and they go after him with a blood rage, I actually like that bit. I actually think that's probably one of the more provoking parts of the story, but it's just buried under just dumb bullshit. The amount of times that people will come up to Michael Myers with that bad guy mentality that, hey, instead of shooting you from where I'm standing, I'm gonna walk my gun right up. There is a moment where a woman comes out of a car that Michael Myers is on top of, he then gets into the car, kills someone. This woman, who I just mentioned, got out of the car. She's now 20 meters away from the car, and she's walking up to the car now, instead of just stopping and taking a shot. He kicks the door open, hits the gun, and she shoots herself in the face. The amount of times I had to pause it and walk away because of how dumb the bullshit was in this movie, I think I walked away four times. It took me an entire day to watch this whole movie. And this just continually accumulates throughout the movie, just people doing dumb shit. Everyone in this movie is an absolute moron. And then on top of that, on top of that, there is the twist. The problem is there is absolutely no transition to this. They just start to talk about it at the end of the movie. The movie is following this line that the first film established, albeit with stupid people, till about the last 10 minutes. Hell, not even. The last 5 minutes. And then it just completely flips its hat over and it changes. This is trying very, very poorly to make up for all of the dumb shit that this movie has tried to make you accept. Considering it is such a dramatic turn in terms of its composure and how seriously you could take it from the first film. The kills, while really gory and sick to watch sometimes, they're just stupid. 
all of these kills have to precede an act of stupidity that is so hard to swallow that is just unacceptable. Sure, horror movies are full of this stuff, but this movie just goes over the top. The only thing that this movie has going for it is the very phenomenally put together opening. The keeping to the aesthetic of the previous film, the whole mob idea, while not really executed well, is a cool idea on paper. And that's it. The rest of this movie is pretty inexcusable. So in the end, I'm going to give Halloween Kills a 2 out of 7. I was looking forward to this movie, and admittedly now, I don't really have much hope for the last one. I knew going into this series that there was going to be three, that's what they talked about. I do find that this has become a trend though, that it seems that horror movies are now being directed more by comedic directors, and sometimes that works. Jason Bateman, for instance, while I've never found him funny, I think he's a very, very good director for serious dramas. In the last little while, a lot of horror movies have been directed by comedic directors and they are okay, but they're more so relying off of the feelings and the inspirations that they had from the movies that they're basing it off of, rather than really creating something of their own and making it, in this case, actually believable, if not competently put together. In the end, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.